Today's topic is cryopreservation. What do you mean by cryopreservation? It is cryo and further it is preservation. It means you are preserving at low temperature. Tissues, cells and organs are preserved in liquid nitrogen at minus 100 degrees Celsius. So the preservation of tissues, cells and organs at liquid nitrogen at minus 190 degrees Celsius is known as cryopreservation and the science pertaining to this activity is known as cryobiology. Now the question comes, what is the effect of this low temperature? How it is going to affect the preservation of tissues and cells? That is, it suppresses all metabolic activities and the biochemical physiological changes they all are also suppressed at this temperature. So for prior cryopreservation the first need is choice of material. What material you are going to choose? Choice of material is the material or cells should be in meristematic states. And what does merit meristematic state means? It is that is an actively dividing state. And cells are preserved in lag phase or they are preserved in exponential phase. An exponential phase is also early one. And they are arrested at G1 phase. If you arrest them at lag phase or in exponential phase, you are going to preserve them. After that, it comes pre-culturing. When you have chosen the material, then you have to pre-culture it. You can pre-culture it in presence of amino acids. Then you can pre-culture it in presence of sugars, amino acids you can use like proline and sugars you can use like sorbitol and you can also use sucrose. Or you can just keep it at low temperature before freezing. After that it comes cryoprotection, cryoprotectants you can say. But during cryoprotections, they are cryo injuries caused and cryo injury can be due to mechanical damage. And it can be also due to accumulation of solutes. Mechanical damage is due to formation of ice crystals. And accumulation of solutes is due to formation of solutes like sugars and amino acids. Now the state comes that what should be done to prepare them from cryo injury. So you can culture them using DMSO that is dimethyl sulfoxide.
or you can use proline you can also use glycerol and you also can use sorbitol but dmso is most widely used because it penetrates the cell wall it penetrates the cell wall quickly so you can use dmso during the culture next is freezing freezing you can do by slow cooling further you can do it by rapid cooling and third you can do by freezing following dehydration now what comes under slow cooling that is you are going to freeze it at low temperature low temperature first and then you will plunge it in liquid nitrogen then rapid cooling is you will immediately get uh, put the tissues or cells in very low temperature and then directly to liquid nitrogen after that it is freezing following dehydration you will freeze the culture and then you will dehydrate it that is removal of water when you have preserved it and you need the cultures then you have to throw it we we call it as throwing throwing we do it in our daily life you have seen at our homes our mothers are doing throwing while for milk to get the butter that is simply the throwing meaning in journal so you have to you have to take out the preserved tissues and just throw it so that ice crystals do not harm ice crystals do not cause cryo injury when you have thawed it you will get the culture and you have to reculture it so how you can reculture you can just reculture by washing and you can you can keep the tissues on filter paper in culture medium so cryo preservation is very important technique for the preservation of tissues and tissues and cells uh, for the germ plasm so that you can use it for further uh, production of different seeds or different plants